Grand rising, my beautiful kings and queens. How y'all doing? Y'all blessed. Amen. Y'all know what we about to do, right? We about to pray. But before we do, let's read a few scriptures from the NLT. Today is the fourth. So let's go to Psalms 4. And something to here's a little tip. The book of Proverbs has 31 chapters in it. So read one chapter every day of the month. Like today is the fourth, so you read chapter four. But let's read Psalms chapter four, the NL, the NLT translation. Answer me when I call to you, O God, who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue your lies? You can be sure of this. The Lord set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. Offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. Many people say, who will show us better times? Let your face smile on us, Lord. You have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvest of grain and new wine. In peace, I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O oh Lord, will keep me safe. Listen, don't worry about anybody who's talking about you, gossiping about you, telling lies on you, trying to assassinate your character, destroy your reputation. Know that when God is on your side, he will vindicate you. He will deal with them. So don't allow anger to control you. Don't allow hatred and unforgiveness to live rent free in you. Trust me, those are heavy burdens to carry around. It it weighs too much to walk around with the burden and the weight of unforgiveness and hatred towards someone. That only ruins you. It takes away your joy. It takes away your peace. It takes over your mind. It allows the negative things to replay over and over in your mind. It makes your mind a playground for the devil. It actually gives power to the enemy over you. If you allow yourself to be overcome with anger and unforgiveness and bitterness and the want to get the lick back. And trust me, I know how that feels. I know how you how it feels to want to vindicate yourself but if you hold on to your peace if you choose because the choice is yours to walk in love to walk in peace to walk in forgiveness and that does not mean to open yourself up for for people to continue to cause harm to you but it's your choice in you being a person who's going to walk in love and peace and carry that around rather than carry vengeance in anger and hatred and allow that to control you and dictate to you how you're going to respond or how you're going to live this life that God has blessed you to live with. Now that does not mean you're a sucker or you, you know, someone that, that anyone can take advantage of. No, what that means is when you choosing to live in love, to walk in love, to live in peace, to walk in peace, to hold on to your peace, to support, to pursue peace, and to maintain your joy rather than allowing anger to take over you and try to get people back. You're choosing to trust God to take care of and trust me. He can get people back way better than he can do. The better than you could do rather. So we're going to pray. 
Father, we thank you and praise you today. We bless you that you are the true and living God. Beside you, there is none other. We thank you, God, for another day to forgive and to be forgiven. We thank you, God, that you even remind us when we pray for you to go after people because they have done something to us or we think they have done something to us, that you remind us that we too have done things to others and you extended grace and mercy towards us and, and some has even forgiven us. So we thank you, God, that you are a God who balances the scales evenly. We thank you, God, that you are a God who restores, which means you restores, you restore our reputation. You restore all that has been lost, missing, or stolen from us, God, physically and spiritually, God, even emotionally. We thank you, God, for blessing us to be a people to choose peace over hatred, to choose love over unforgiveness. And we thank you, God, that we can rest assured and rest in you, knowing that you will deal with anything or anyone that troubles us we thank you god that you declare us innocent we thank you god that you declare us righteous we thank you god that our innocence and our righteousness and everything that we need is in you our healing is in you for our ability to forgive is in you our ability to find peace and joy and to, to maintain it the strength to do so is in you everything that we need is in you and we thank you god we can never thank you enough god and we praise you god we thank you god for giving us the ability to let go of the heavy weights that so easily beset us the things that try to come into our lives to control our thoughts and control our actions and control our emotions thank you for giving us the ability to control our emotions and not let them control us we thank you god for making us the head and not the tail the lender not the borrower above and not beneath we thank you for blessing us to be a blessing we pray that you bless those who bless us god and those who try to curse us those who desire to see us fail will be greatly disappointed we thank you god that anyone or anything that try to visit us by any means or any realm to do us any harm or to or anyone or anything that concerns us that they are blocked blinded definite and made mute that they cannot see us hear us nor report back anything about us we thank you god for remembering and having mercy on those who are in places that they should not be in lord god for those who are being detained or held in any type of captivity that they should not be lord god we pray that you remember those who are in places of war and famine those who hunger and thirst those who are sick and shut in god that you will visit them and let them know that they are not forgotten we pray god for those who are in places where the storms god are causing all type of disasters or have the potential to do so that you will watch over and cover that you will rebuild and restore even those people god we thank you god that the works of the wicked are destroyed we thank you for the angels to give charge to watch over us to protect us to keep us safe from danger seen and unseen known and unknown may you continue to give your angels a war charge to come into our lives and drive out the angels and the angels of witness from amongst us wherever we are wherever we go wherever we be not only for us but for those who concern us and all that concerns us we thank you no evil shall come now dwelling none shall overtake us we thank you no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned for that is our inheritance we thank you god that we are healed spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, educational, even in our relationships. We thank you, God, that we are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. And we thank you that we don't even have to walk in fear. For you have not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. We thank you, God, for your word, which is a lamp unto our feet. We thank you, God, that you love us so much that you even correct us. You direct us. You instruct us. We thank you, God for blessing us exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever imagine even think to ask we pray that you continue to bless our places of prayer our places of residence our means of transportation our jobs our finances schools children's schools daycares summer camps and everything that concerns us and we pray god you continue to help us to walk in your supernatural power let your arm be around us your arm of protection your hand of protection be upon us lord god and we thank you, and we praise you, and we bless you. In your name we pray, O oh God, and we give you thanks. Amen. People of God, thank you for taking time for allowing me to read these scriptures to you, allowing me to pray. I thank you for praying with me. I pray that these prayers are a blessing to you. If these videos are, I ask that you do me this favor. Like, 
comment and share especially if you know that someone could be blessed by these um videos and also subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs> amen um and i think i pray that you have a blessed and powerful day of god i pray that god will lighten your spirit if your spirit is heavy today i pray that he will give you clarity if you are confused about something today and i pray that he give you a clear answer to something that you have been praying about and you seem like the it seems like the prayer is not being answered that you will receive that answer today Okay?